Greetings everybody, um, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial on the Mine Expert Mass Spectrometric Data Visualization and Mining uh, Program. This tutorial is about recording the um, uh, information that have been mined uh, via uh, Mine Expert. We can see that uh, this is totally configurable opening the um, file uh, analysis preferences dialog allows to configure where the uh, uh, data mining discoveries are to be recorded by default they are recorded to the console but it is possible to uh, record them to the clipboard it's also possible to record them to a file so let's let's uh, do this and uh, analysis that now we know we will record the uh, data to the TMP analysis dot that uh, file if uh, the uh, recording uh, is stopped and then restarted it is possible to append or to overwrite that file When recording data mining uh, discoveries, of course, the, the data bits that are to be stored will change, will be different in case you're working on a tick chromatogram, or you're working on a mass spectrum, or you're working on a drift spectrum. It is possible to configure how the um, data bits are to be stored in the file or to the console or to the clipboard for a tick chromatogram typically the stanza would be recorded in this way the percentage f would be replaced with the mass spectrometry data file name and there are some values that one would like to store for example it might be interesting to know the uh, position of the uh, interesting feature with respect to the x-axis that is for a tick chromatogram minutes and have the value of the intensity using the percentage y format string if there is a drag with the mouse and that is the left click then the delta can be recorded the delta value can be recorded also uh, if you've seen the previous videos you would know that it is possible to compute for any tick chromatogram or mass spectrum or drift spectrum it is possible to calculate uh, intensity uh, values and then we can record them using the percentage uh, uppercase i uh, uh, format string in this case it might be interesting to know the range of data on which the intensity computation has been performed and this is uh, done by specifying in the format string percentage s that is the axis the x-axis range start for the computation and then uh, the uh, end uh, of the x-axis range for mass spectrometry uh, plot widgets there are additional uh, format strings available percentage z is the charge if a deconvolution has provided the charge and percentage m is the molecular mass after a deconvolution let's see that here for example the uh, stanza for mass spectra is uh, similar to the previous one unless we add these uh, data bits the charge and the the value of the charge is represented by the percentage z and the molecular mass is represented by the percentage uppercase m finally for the drift spectrum uh, very similar to the tick chromatogram uh, we have a stanza like this once we have configured this we click OK and we start the work 
I have opened a, a ion mobility uh, mass spectrometry file and um, I can zoom on these peaks and we see that uh, we have a protein here that is existent in uh, some modified uh, variants or maybe um, sodium adducts. Anyway, let's uh, start with a deconvolution from this peak to this one and if you look at the bottom of the window you'll see that we are right there. The uh, molecular uh, species that is below the cursor is at z equals 9 and the molecular mass of the protein is roughly 22,000. To send that bit of information to the file, the console, the clipboard, I just hit the space bar. Let's do that. And what you see is that console now shows a stanza that mimics pretty neatly what we had here. MZ, MZ. The file name, the file name. And now we have the data of the peak under the cursor when I hit the spacebar, when I did the drag and drop operation, I stopped on the right hand side peak that is located at 2448. And you see that the charge is mentioned. One thing is not mentioned, that is intensity, because we didn't compute the intensity for any peak. Let's try this. For example, we may uh, be interested with the intensity of this peak here. So we remember, and that was documented in a previous uh, video tutorial, to compute intensities of any feature, press the I key, right click, drag, release without moving the mouse, and the intensity is computed, as you can see. 1.2 exponential 6, right? And now hit the, pay the space bar. There we are. We now have documented the intensity here. So this is pretty useful. That is for mass spectra. There is one feature that doesn't um, document uh, to the files uh, and to the clipboard, but that documents to the console is the label. Often one wants to know what is the exact position of the cursor. Just put the cursor there and hit L for label. And you see that the label is there. In fact, this is an old version of the software. It should be prefixed with MZ because we are in a mass spectrum. If we want here to have the position here, L, and we have the position, along with the intensity of the cursor, not of the peak, of the cursor. You see the, the crosshairs here? Well, we are roughly at 10,000. We are located at the centroid, L. And you'll see that we are indeed having here in the output of the label the 10,000 value here because this is the position of the cursor. This is useful because sometimes you really want to know where you click. You don't want the computer to extrapolate a value. You just want to know where you uh, uh, click or position the cursor before hitting label. So that's done for mass spectrum. And now it's, all, it's the same for the uh, drift spectra. For example, um, of course, we won't have deconvolutions here, but we may want to uh, locate a point, L, and this is an old version, as I was saying. In the new version, you have dt here for drift time to specify that the value is for a drift spectrum and not a mass spectrum. Um, we can, we can 
uh, have uh, intensity values computed here also. Let's press the I uh, keyboard key, drag right mouse button, drag, leave, do not move, and space bar once the tick intensity has been computed. And you see that we have the information. This time, the stanza here mimics perfectly what we had configured. For the drift spec, the stanza should look like this. And it does. And it's exactly the same for the tick chromatogram. Let's make an example here. I can zoom a bit and then select this, for example. Compute a tick intensity to here. Done. Spacebar. And now we have tick zig, the, the stanza that we had configured. Note that because we have configured the program to send data to um, a file, we can open the file. And you will see that all these stanzas are in the file. Thank you very much.